The bad is finally over. All the good stuff is waiting for you. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't come on and talk online about thing, things that have happened to screw you over. I don't even really think about it when it happens. I'm just so emotional emotionally charged and so desperate i think to talk to anybody or make sense of the situation and at the time that i talk about him online and i out his behavior it's because i don't have any intention of ever going back to him which is why it makes it seem ridiculous every single time i do i have no intention every time i say okay he did this to me no because i think that's the last time once i once i get away from him this time i'm not going back that's, that's my logic all the time i'm not going back i'm not going back So is this one of those days? Does she feel today like she's not going back and she's going to spill everything? Because I'm down. <laughs> Think of something. I need to go. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. I was like in the hotel room. And I was like, what am I doing? There, I do have those moments where I'm like, what am I doing right now? Like, I'm in the seediest hotel. I'm like stressing, trying to find, think of ways that I'm going to be able to afford to fund his life. Ew, for what? Like all of this stress, you're right. It could just go away instantly. I could have all this money to myself. I can have all of this. I could be happy. I could be, all I have to do is just suffer through breaking up, getting, breaking up with him for good. Like, No, ma'am. Uh, sorry to shit on your little uh, delusion here, but uh, in order for you to be happy and thriving, it's going to take a lot more than just dumping Koki. I'm not trying to minimize the dumping of Koki, but when you say things like that, it sounds like you were a happy, healthy, you know, balanced life person before you met him. And he just threw your whole life upside down. Do you remember that I've been saying this a year ago? If you go back to my fucking videos a year ago, I was saying, when this thing finally ends, she's going to try and spin the story. Like he just ruined this beautiful, blessed life that she was living before him. And that is not even close to the case. And we all know it. If you were living such a beautiful and blessed life, you would not ever have been wrapped up in a crackhead after meeting him once. Hmm? You would have spotted that glass pipe and pivoted and left the crack house. Okay. You were, oh, sweet Jesus. Cokie's live. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it's called important phone call. Important phone call. Like, what does that mean? Important. Oh, it's crackhead Olympics. Y'all brace yourself. I feel like it's going to be one of those weekends. Let's just press play. Oh, and yeah it did piss me off hearing him like not even like acknowledge like he does like not even just saying i don't have a girlfriend i don't that's like the most important for, thing for you is for people to know that i'm not your girlfriend <laughs> really so what do you call it what do you call it when a woman loves somebody puts all of their emotion emotionally supports you spends all of their time neglecting themselves their family and their own finances and their own household and their own job for you i feel like a fucking sucker that's what you call hell yeah i was gonna say girl i got a couple of names you could call that person you call them the biggest fucking idiot alive you could call them a sucker you could call them a desperado that's been our word of choice over here but there are so many words that people could call you right now girl mm. Mm -mm -mm. he never claimed you he's never gonna fucking claim you why is this constantly a topic of conversation he saying that you're single and saying that you're single girl that's never gonna change never never know if he had a reason to marry you that would benefit him he would marry you and still be coming online into any bitch he would meet and go i'm single you need to understand the hustle here it, it, it's more than a year like it's not even cute anymore that oh she can't get it through her head oh we're living the same cycle every month and shit um wake up now like it, it's enough it's enough. 15 months, y'all. 15 months. Call a sucker. That's what you call a sucker. What do you call somebody who does all that? If they're not your girlfriend, what do you what do you think? What do you think I am? Like just doing this just because you're mad or else jammy? You think I'm just doing this just because you're such a good chef? You think I'm just doing all this shit for you just for nothing? Just because you're you, that you deserve the respect and you deserve all that just because you're you. You actually think that. And that's why you're sick in the fucking head. You actually think that you're entitled. It's the entitlement that it's the entitlement for me. It's the entitlement. Like you wouldn't oh. I know I said that a thousand times. Really? Like, just because you're matter. Oh, I have to respect you and no. 
respect and all this shit is earned. You don't get it just because you're Nader El Shami from Egypt and you've traveled 27 countries and you've been around the world and you've been doing shit since I've been in diapers. That does not entitle you to respect. You do not get to do whatever the fuck you want to do to people just because you're Nader and you've traveled to 27 countries. That's not how life works. Newsflash. And you're going to learn that the hard way because I'm not lying for you ever again. And you've lost me from your life because of how you are. You. So you're gaslighting? I'm going to turn it around on you today. You're gaslighting that you've done for the whole year, blaming everything on me, blaming everything on me being crazy, and not taking one ounce of responsibility for your own fucking actions is going to end today. So unless if you really want to redeem yourself, Natter, you know what you need to do because at this point it's just ridiculous. You need to go on live and save yourself and you need to say, I fucked up and I did some shitty stuff out of anger because you have anger problems. Own who you are. You're a good person too. You're not entire. You're not a bad person. You do shitty things. And I do believe you that you can't control them sometimes. It's not an excuse because you have to learn how to control it. We all have to take responsibility for our actions. If there's anything I've learned about that, especially with the Cuba rage, especially with anything, nobody's going to fucking save you. Nobody owes you to save you. And you owe me a fucking apology. And stop being so fucking smug and arrogant because people don't like that. People don't. Oh my god <laughs> Chantal. yeah Chantal, stop being so smug and arrogant people don't like that this whole thing you know we've said it before the things that bother us the most in uh, other people are often the things that like internally bother us about ourselves right she is projecting so hard right now on this piece of shit, and she's not wrong everything she's saying is bang on about koki but for the love of god coming out of your mouth Chantal, it's fucking laughable okay talk about the biggest sense of entitlement I've ever seen online is you, you grown ass toddler who thinks the whole world, your audience, the internet, the people of Cuba, everybody owes you something. And you're going to talk mad shit about the guy who is very, very similar in that way to you. This is hilarious to me. Jessica Terry, thank you so much for the super chat. Girl, I got it this morning on my way back home. It's in the trunk. I haven't opened it yet. Ah! I had a couple of boxes. They're still in the trunk. I wanted to start this so soon. I will open it after the stream. And thank you again, girl. Don't not like you just because of me. You show who you really are too. People are not stupid. People are going to pick up on it. And blaming me for all of your problems online is bullshit. You have no one to blame but your own fucking self for your own actions. I've been meaning to tell you this forever to your face, but I can't because I'm afraid you'll smack me. So here you go. Here's the truth. And here we go again. I can't say it to your face because I'm afraid you'll smack me. Just a couple of days ago, he wasn't like that though, guys. I am sick to death of this DV when it suits her dumbass. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You can believe or not believe. I'm not saying I don't believe anything here happened. I do. I definitely do. But picking and choosing when you're going to defend him and when you're going to use this to throw him under the bus, piss off with this shit, Chantal. Enough. I don't know how many times the randoms on the internet, the people in your chat, all the reactions, everybody says the same thing. Hands off these topics. You've made a fucking mockery out of them already. And it's enough now. Um, Fat Apples, thanks for pointing that out, girl. Yes, she is driving in a bikini raging. Just wild. I wish she would rip that like thing off the top of her head and she could just be bald, bikini, raging. I love it. Bullying us all it up and go online and just fucking apologize and own your actions okay own your actions own it you will be a better person for it i need to do that too so and i think i do a lot i do a lot sometimes no some things are harder to admit rebel that's a good call thank you for the super chat uh koki stream by the way i loaded up a, a tab just to see what was going on complete clickbait he's walking on the machine canal there's no phone call there's no fuck all Clickbait. So oh like, no, what are we gonna do now? Make me look like a liar, right? Like you did when you forced me to apologize. That's your answer for everything. Blame it on someone else. How about you take ownership and be like, yes, I did this and this and this, but I'm trying to be a better person. It won't happen again. How can you grow as a person if you won't even acknowledge what you did is wrong? Exactly, Chantal. How can you grow as a person when you never admit what you do is wrong? Everything is a yeah, but everything is yeah, but everybody's done worse than me and stuff. And you're talking like this about Koki, which again, yeah, she's right. But fuck, who's there to say it to you? And why the fuck should he listen to you when you don't listen to this shit about you? It's ridiculous. Mm. 
Anyways, I'm not going to talk about you. I have you blocked everywhere, so I'm talking to you right now. I'm not going to, you're not even going to listen to me. All you're going to do is get offended and defensive. I am not lying for you anymore. I'm not going to talk about you. I'm not talking about any case. I agreed not to. I agreed to just move on, let it go, let everything go, and move on with life, okay? So you can just fucking, don't worry, continue to do your shit. But I'm not going to support somebody who doesn't give two fucks about me, can't even admit to your true feelings. I mean, okay, so maybe your true feelings are what you portray online when you say things like that. And so then what, maybe I should believe you. So then why the fuck should I do anything for you? Why should I do anything for you? And I'm sorry. I feel like I deserve to talk about this. I feel like me venting is the least I get to talk about because of all the shit you've done to me. You've given me gone. Idiot. Idiot. You don't at least is the least I get to do. Why are you doing it with YouTube? With the chat? The least you should do, call your fucking crackhead and say this shit to him directly. If you're too scared to say it to his face because you make it smack bullshit, then call him and say this to him. This this farce making it online and pretending. I mean, she is talking to him, but she's very, very much doing this for the coins. And then Koki goes live doing it on his side for the coins. Buttered crumpet. I don't know. You know what? I think it's an idle threat. I really do. Dee Dee's going to lawyer. He's going to sue her. I don't believe that shit for a second. Um, then he would have to stop talking about her. And that sucked for him when he had to, when apparently there was the court case going and stuff. Um, the views went way down. Like this, he can just keep threatening her. And then people, maybe in his mind, he thinks, well, ooh, ping pong over to his channel. What's going on? Is he going to a lawyer? It's, it's bullshit, in my opinion. Shady Lane, hey girl, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> yeah, eh? she just says that shit willy nilly. Honoria, you've abused me. You, you've talked so much shit about me. You fucking cheated on me so many times. You, you used me for thousands of dollars. You're nothing. You've done nothing but hurt me. You've really done nothing. Oh, you've given me a few crappy lousy orgasms. Oh wow, that I can give to myself for free. I mean, really, like I'm really, I'm just making sense of it myself right now. I mean, really, sorry. Anyways, I'm done. Well, how many times have we heard that? Fed Apples, thank you for the super chat, girl. Yeah, it's extra crazy that she's raging in a bikini in her car, not going to the beach. And now I'm going to really try, like, no matter, no matter what he says about me, no matter what happens, I guess I just have to just, like, really try to move on. It just makes it worse. All the drama, all the shit. Support to change my pants. Ugh. I just know I'm going to be blocking people after. Look at Entitled. She's so crazy. I love it. So. Change my pants. I can't believe I have like assless pants on right now. Wiccan mom. Okay, she's on the 417. Where's she going? Can you tell like where she's going? <gasps> Can you imagine she goes to Lachine to confront them face to face in a bikini? Love that for us. Will she finally get? Oh my god, you know how life is, right? All this time, she doesn't get arrested. She gets away with all this mischief and shit. This would be the day when you're getting cuffed and booked in a bikini. Y'all, this could be the day. Fingers crossed, everybody. I hope I didn't just jinx it. I'm just going to drive to like somewhere country-ish and then go in the back. Oh, and... uh, Grandma Scott, okay. thank you so much. Uh, stands up. Hey! <laughs> What is this exit? Yes, this assless yeah. bikini. Assless. Hey, L, how you doing? He's gonna hate me so bad. Oh well. 
Butter crumpet, I like that pool. We're gonna try pools. It's been a few days. I hope it's fixed. Fingers crossed. Hold on. Uh, I feel like it, but I am. Valerie, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. I hope you're having a great day. Why am I getting in trouble? Like, I don't understand why I get in trouble for talking about him. Like, when everything I say is true, shouldn't he be apologizing for his behavior? Like, that's so stupid. That's like somebody getting murdered. That's like somebody getting attempted. Like, somebody is a victim of, like, something. Attempted murder. Let's just for an example. So then the murderer, like blames the victim and then like the victim apologizes. I don't understand. I'm not saying like, it's just stupid. Like even, do you know what I mean? Ironic choice of an example you picked there since your boyfriend shanked two people, went to jail for two years minus a day. And to this day lies about the story that happened there and says that somehow he was the victim in the whole fucking thing. Although he's the one out of three who doesn't end up stabbed the fuck man why are you surprised Ugh. and like why am i apologizing why am i why did i ever apologize to him like i don't get it for ruining your reputation what reputation people knew me as a chef oh whatever fuck off people knew me as a chef oh my god no he did not say that i know your reputation was shit anyways like you literally were in prison for stabbing two people so how in the fuck are you going to say and like i'm not rubbing that against him he did his time whatever i don't know all the details about the case like well i do know the details but you know what i mean like it's not really i'm not gonna like i don't want to be like that type of person that's like just because i'm like not mad at you at the time i'm gonna like have a problem you know what i mean i really don't want to be like that although yes of course if i'm trying to be with him and uh, i love him and i'm not angry at him, my feelings change like my perspectives change you know what i mean i don't know it's just messed up and i just don't want to I just don't want to deal with it anymore. Like, I just want him out of my life. And I just wanted to marry him the other day. But then, then I get with him and then I can't stand it for like two days. And then I remember all of the reasons why. And then I get this, then I get like this again. And then I forget whenever he's nice to me. And then it's just like a never ending cycle. It's insane. And then I don't know how, I don't know how to get out of it. <laughs> right, like, Shady Lane, thank you for the super chat, girl. And not lying to myself anymore. Like, I'm not going to lie to myself anymore. And I'm not going to lie to anybody anymore. I feel bad being honest about what happened to me because of the severity of it. And the, like, this, not the severity, like, the seriousness of the accusations, the seriousness of the situation, the seriousness of everything I've talked about makes me feel like something I shouldn't. And I feel bad talking about it. But then I'm like, why do I feel bad at all? Why? This is something that happened to me. Why should I feel bad? Why does why should I feel any bad way about it at all? It's not my fault. You know what I mean? Like I feel like it's my fault. Like he makes me feel like I should feel bad about talking about it. That's how I feel. You should feel bad about talking about it, but not for the reason that Koki's trying to put on you. It's your truth. You should be able to speak your truth to your family, your friends, paid professionals, not your YouTube audience. That's why you should feel bad about what you've been saying online because like i said it's 15 months of this bullshit now chantal and at least you know it would be annoying i'm not saying i would have watched this crap 15 months straight of you hating him but that would have been consistency the ping ponging back and forth like you just said days ago you were talking about getting married you were looking for apartments for him yesterday you were talking about uh pete's moving out of the villa we weren't live i saw that bitch okay uh, putting Pete's in a place, okay? You were getting married. He suddenly cokey like the cats and stuff. You were saying your fantasy was to go to Egypt frequently and make babies every night with Koki. That's the problem. The ping pong. One day he's uh, violent. One day there's SA. The next day, no, guys, it wasn't like that. It didn't happen, guys. Now we had another fight or uh, jealousy over the DD thumbnail. Oh, no, yeah, I'm afraid to say anything to your face because I'm going to get smacked. Fuck. Uh, th she has to understand this is what's pissing people off. No one cares if you were consistent. Either you love him or you hate him. But this bullshit every two, three days, we don't all have this in us to ping pong like this back and forth every two days. 
it pisses people off. To you, it just feels normal somehow. I was abusive to him too, verbally. Not first, not for no reason. I have a lot of resentment for him. I think like residual resentment for everything he's fucking put me through and I got fuck all out of it, like nothing. So yeah, I'm a little fucking mad. And I think anytime that Dee Dee's been like, bitching at matters, it's probably the same thing for her. He probably got himself in a situation with two using two women now that like whenever, oh, okay, so Chantal is not gonna be here. He felt like he was like, maybe I was slipping away when I went to Windsor without him. I broke it off with him, went to Windsor alone. So he calls him Dee Dee and got Dee Dee into the position that I was in, including with feelings and everything, money, whatever. And now you want me back because now you're legally allowed to be with me again. Okay, I, I'm not going to lie. I don't remember the timeline on that. But is that true? Was that the first time Dee Dee had come there when she went to Windsor? I feel like I would remember that. That's a definite thing. You know, like two events like that, I would remember that. I don't think that that was truthful. I just can't remember. I have a feeling Dee Dee was coming around before Windsor. Hmm. Hmm. So we have to change the story as to why he invited Dee Dee over. Oh, it's because I left him and I went to Windsor. Fine. We have to change the story as to why he's living with Dee Dee. Oh, he couldn't legally be with me. That's why he's with Dee Dee. Okay, 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 girl, girl. The timelines don't add up here. You can't blame something for some, for example, this. <laughs> when Dee Dee was already around before you went to Windsor. Hmm? Mm -hmm. And when Dee Dee was already, he was shacked up with Dee Dee before there were ever charges and then, uh, you know, conditions between you guys. It doesn't work, ma'am. Dee Dee knows I love you. How does she know that? Because after everything, after all the charges you put on me, I still want to be with you. But I don't feel love from him. Like, I don't feel the same. I hear him say it, but I don't feel it. So I know it's just because he is in a hard way. And he probably needs me. That's what I feel like. To need the very person that is accusing you of something that you won't take ownership for. And is causing you all the stress and messing up your life. And then what? He's always going to have that resentment for me. He's always going to blame me. He's always going to, he's going to want like revenge on me down the line for that. I know it. We can't be, we can't be together. This is insane insanity. So these are all my thoughts. These are all how I'm feeling and I don't want to bottle it up. So you better stay away from me because as long as we're together, yeah, I'll probably always talk about you. Yeah, it's so weird to me the way she just said something about he needs me and he needs like she's really, really convinced herself of that, that she's needed. And that's why he keeps hanging around. Man, as if like what he he was living and breathing before you guys met, you know, whatever he was doing to live and breathe before you, he'll go back to doing after you. He doesn't need you. You don't need him. No living person needs another person. It is what it is, even if you're live and even if it's good between me, you don't need anyone and nobody needs you. In fact, if he didn't have you, maybe he'd be forced to stand up and, you know, grow some muscle on his soft, soft ass. Probably wouldn't, though. <laughs> the conditioning coach, thank you so much for the super chat. Pizza, my pizza. I don't think we have that in Canada. I don't think the feelings I had for him, I don't think they were love. Because he wasn't who I thought he was. Like, I was in love with somebody he's not. So it's easier for me to stay away right now because I don't. I feel like I don't know him. I feel like I don't fucking know him. I feel like, uh, I feel like... Yeah. It's just insanity. It has to be finished. Ooh, ooh, 
I forgot. Okay, I forgot about the poll. I'm going to end the poll. So vote now or forever hold your peace, please. Jessica Terry, thank you again for the Super Chat rule. Oh, no, this room is closed. Oh, shit. Okay, next row. There's a road here. I'll probably go down. Oh, I think this one. Yes, I can go down this road. There's a lot of cars going down this road, so I'm going to go a bit further. There's a lot of cars on that street. If there's cars turning on this street... No one cares about the cars. Oh, my God. When will she be back in Montreal? Tonight, 65%. Tomorrow, 22%. And by Monday, 12%. I voted tomorrow because I think Koki will take advantage. It's a Friday night. She's pissed at him. He won't make peace with her till tomorrow. So he gets like a Friday night off, you know? I'm still sad. Like, I feel sick. I feel like I want to run back. I feel, even right now, I want to run back to him and, like, make everything okay. I don't want any of this to be true. I don't want it to be true. I want it to be fucking, you know? It's not, it is true. It, no, no. Oh. I was telling some people, by the way, yesterday, <laughs> because, you know, like, Okay, my gang, we're from NDG. So everybody's heard of the Colibri before. I was telling people that this woman stayed at the Colibri. Oh my, everyone was dying laughing at her. Like dying laughing at her. Oh my God. Put it myself first, always. Hey, Noel, welcome. Thanks for being here, girl. Um, so far, what we know is that the the, the crackheads are having a fight, okay? There's some fight, she's jealous, or an actual fight happened, and the whole, uh, the marriage is off. The whole thing is off. PJ, we're not sure really what he's done to piss her off yet. She hasn't slipped. Did Was there an actual fight, an actual incident between them, Maybe. Maybe. Or was it Koki's like, thumbnail like from last night that was him and Dee Dee with their, like, cheeks all, like, touching each other? Uh, and he was, like, drinking and, like, playing music together. So a fight or a jealousy incident? That's what I'm guessing. I'm crazy because I just feel like he just doesn't know better. I, I really do. I'm not making excuses for him, but I feel like he really believes his own words, his own lies. He believes himself. So... Like, the whole situation is really stressing him out, but you can make it, like, I don't know what to say. It's not my job to save you, man. Oh, that's it. Let's just talk about something else. Let's just move on, I guess. That's all I can do. I can't keep talking about him forever. I just wanted to say what I say. Is this a street I can change my... Okay, yeah. Sauce Boss, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, let's just keep going. This is like a dirt road. I did my bag. Sorry, I saw that in the comment. Oh, it's so gorgeous here. Kate, he said in this last stream that she's he not his girlfriend. Like, he me three Fair. But... Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, she just said something really good. We're going to have to go just a little smidge back. Wait a minute. That was gold. <laughs> Remember back last summer. Okay. Okay. Gorgeous here. He used to charge me, uh, like, he charged me 300 bucks for shrooms once for a gram. I bet you he. Oh my God. Do you remember last summer we were saying, and we just made a joke about it the other day that he, when he, uh, she asked about the weights and he said to her something like you're 50 kilos and we were all like the fuck. And he was like, he's keeping her dumb about counts so that he could rip her off for the drugs. I swear to God, I said that like two days ago on this channel, fuck. Yo, a gram of mushrooms, a gram. One one gram of mushrooms, three hundred dollars. 
when I tell you I can read these crackheads because I grew up, I, when I say I grew up around crackheads, it sounds like they're in my family. No, the area of NDG, I always say, if you're from Montreal, you know, Walkley and Fielding, okay? I grew up around crackheads. I understand every fucking game, every hustle, every breath they take that is trying to fleece money out of somebody. I see that shit a mile away and it was so fucking obviously going on. I look, but come on, come on, come on, come on. There's ripping off like, like a customer. I, I don't know if that's, a, you know, customer, fine. And then there are $300 for a gram. Oh my God. Ah, let me tell you. Okay. Back in the day, I say it a lot in high school. I did a lot of mushrooms. <laughs> We used to pay under $50 for three and a half grams. So you guys do the math on how badly she was getting ripped off. You pocketed that money, fucking ripped me off. Or 150 for Coke every time. Probably charging me. Uh, I talked to a Coke dealer a while ago at the time. And they were like, 150, I've never heard of it being that expensive. Oh, this is good shit. This is really good shit. 150. Do you guys remember last summer? We sat here laughing at that and she was so smug because she was on that coke come down bitchy attitude talking about how, oh, we don't know what we're talking about because they get that good stuff from Montreal and it's so pure. Bitch, I'm sitting here in Montreal laughing at your dumb asses. That is the stupidest thing. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't. I can't. She's fessing up to, I can love this. The math on it though. Oh my God. Uh, anybody who wants to make a shit ton of money, just find her and become her dealer. Holy shit. You could charge her half of that. She'd think it's some kind of great deal and you'd still be ripping her the fuck off. Probably, it was probably more like 80 or 90 and he would pocket the rest. Isn't that exactly what we said all summer last summer? Yeah, exactly. It happened, so it's, again, I'm blocking you. Don't fuck with me because if you don't like this, an idiot. you don't like being outed for your behavior, you're going to have a problem with me. Over and over again. Over and over and over again. You don't think if this went to court, I would win? I'm going to sue you. <laughs> no, I don't think if it went to court that you would win. I don't. I really don't. I really don't. You know you wouldn't trying to fucking get me to get a lawyer get a lawyer for you never in a million years ever in a million years all right let's pull over here mm, shira thank you for the super chat girl i don't know i can't tell yet this feels genuine she's pissed i think hi a gram of shrooms is 10 15 bucks i know yep it's the thing she's saying. Like, she's going too far. You can kind of tell by what's coming out of her mouth. Like, she's pissed. Yeah. 300 for a gram of shrimps from your boyfriend? I know, right? Nice boyfriend. Fucking. He's a big YouTuber. At the time, I couldn't get them from the dispensary. I still don't think he's grifting. I really believed him, okay? You think he's really grifter? No. For real? Don't stress him out. I'm st I don't want to stress him out. How can you say all of that and then at the end say, do you guys really think he's a grifter? No. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is, this is just happening. Oh, my God. She really ripped rip her pants. <laughs> She ripped her pants straight open. Oh my God. How does that even happen? It's not even on like the ass crack scene. It's like the other direction. I'm so confused. Oh shit. These chips are not that good though. Ma'am, stop focusing on the chips. Put some fucking pants on. How? Yo, for real, how did the pants rip in that direction? I'm, <laughs> what? <laughs> I was not expecting that. Put it that way. Sandra, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. I have this. 
Oh, tea. Hmm. I have some pants here. Oh, good. She put on a shirt. Can you see me when I go? No. I didn't think he was hey, scamming Bailey. me at all. 300 for shrooms, yeah. That is the best thing ever. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go change my pants in the field here because I can't show you me changing. And I gotta take my shoes off. So I will just be... There, she's back. Boof. <laughs> My battery's dead. Hold on. <laughs> I swear it's dead. Oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> Worm share it. Thank you for the super chat. Oh, oh my God. Thank God. <laughs> oh, she got the car battery. I thought the phone battery. Oh, she thought the car battery was dead. Oh, my God. She's going to break down on the way to Montreal one day. That Kia is done. Let's go home. At least, if nothing else, Chantal, go change your freaking battery. <laughs> no, I, put them, I have a big garbage bag. No, I can't afford my car breaking down. I had to drive out to the middle of nowhere because I had to put pants on. Okay, back to Ottawa. Wait. What? Man, this is amazing. What What the hell? She drove out to the middle of nowhere to change her pants, and that was going back to Ottawa. Why didn't she just go home? Maybe I should go home. <laughs> oh, that's freaky. It might be the alternator. Something is dying on my car. I think the battery. Let's just get, let's go home. She told us she needed to get her battery jump started the other day. If you were driving these distances constantly in that car, would like who would not go and change the battery after already needing a jump start? That she just makes no sense. I got some pants on. A battery is what two paneers? You can do it, Chantal. Oh, the motorcycle guy replied and said that would be nice about the museum. Maybe he's not just about sex. I don't know. Whatever. <sighs> yeah, she can't take the battery money out of the shrooms budget. Oh my God. <laughs> Josie, hey girl, thank you for the super chat. Happy Friday. I think I'm gonna go for now. Oh my god, she doesn't end it yet. Some live streams. I'll be back later. We're gonna go mini put tonight. Oh, Are we really? I gotta go.